The Dynamic Stretching Program. This is the first of our activities that is performed in preparation for sport or activity. The forward warm-up run. The subject is simply asked to run across the court and then return. And they will do this for a total of four court widths. The pace of the run is medium and they should not stride out as this is the first warm-up drill in preparation for the dynamic stretching program. The backwards warm-up run. The subject is simply asked to run backwards across the court. This is repeated for a total of four cross-court backward runs. The subject is asked to take small steps and to perform this exercise slowly and with control. This exercise is particularly useful in warming up the hamstring muscles. The dynamic hamstring stretch. This is performed by asking the subject to walk across the court and then to kick their leg up towards their opposite hand. Our subject in this particular video is not keeping her knee as straight as we would prefer. We advise that in future that they keep their leg up, keeping their knee as straight as possible. This is repeated for the four widths of the court. Dynamic quadricep stretch. This stretch is performed by asking the subject to run backwards and forwards across the court with their hands behind their buttock so that they touch their feet against their hands. At the same time they will be required to try and keep their knees pointing down as, as far as possible. I'll feel a stretch through the quadriceps at the front. The dynamic groin stretch. This stretch is performed by having our participant take a step towards the right, bend their right knee down and keep their left knee straight. They'll feel a stretch through the left groin. Here the subject should be encouraged to keep their torso upright throughout. This will be repeated for the width of the court and then they will return to stretch the other hip. This exercise again should be done slowly and with control while trying to keep the torso pointing upwards. The dynamic calf stretch. This calf stretch is performed by having our subject down on all fours and then slowly extending and flexing each of the knees, trying to take the heels right down to the floor. This is repeated for approximately 45 seconds. The dynamic hip flexor stretch. This participant will feel a stretch in their left hip region. They are asked to take the right forward or kneeling on the left hip. They will then take their arm towards their right knee. During this exercise they should try and keep their core muscles turned on throughout as this will increase the amount of stretch they feel in their hip region is repeated for approximately 45 seconds on each side. The dynamic slump stretch. This is in a similar position to the hip flexor stretch, but now the participant will take their right leg out straight and bounce forward and backwards. Repeat this 30 times on each side for a stretch through their lower back and behind their knee. The dynamic lower back rotation stretch. This stretch is performed by having our participant lie on their back, place their arms out for further support and rotate their legs backwards and forwards. This is repeated for approximately 45 seconds. The most important aspect of this particular stretch is to make sure that the abdominal muscles are turned on 
so that the back stays flat against the floor throughout and the torso doesn't rotate. Now that the dynamic stretches have been completed, we are ready to progress to the warm-up drills, which will be the, the next presentation that I will give.